What's good, family? It's your man, the YB. Back once again. Big shout out to my doggy Shed for coming through and boosting up the coin. No doubt about it. So, we got some breaking news right now. Regarding your man's Connor Tren. Juiced him. Hey, listen, never mind Connor Nigel Ben. It's Connor. Juiced off his Nelly N. How about that? 100%. There's no Nigel about it. It's off your Nelly. How about that? Anyway, he's been exposed by UCAD. You kind of clip this dude's wings. Yeah. And they basically said, listen, man, you're juiced. Bottom line, stop capping. Stop wasting people's time. You are juiced. They put this, they've stamped him. Juice it. Simple as that. Anyway, here's the leak. Robert Smith updating on the BBBOC. You can investigation into Connor Ben, a.k.a. Connor off his Nelly Ben. The information we require, we haven't received. Wow. For whatever reason... Mr. Ben's legal team have decided to have sent. Sorry, for for whatever reason, Mr. Ben's legal team have decided. They've sent a 240 70 page document to WBC. We have not seen that. Wow. At which point, Connor Tren fires back. Don't worry, Robert Smith. You'll be hearing from my lawyers. It's like, wait a minute. That's the whole point, Muppet. Yeah, it's a shame Robert Smith didn't hear from your lawyers month ago when and that's the whole point here muppet do you understand what i'm saying here yeah it's no good hearing from your lawyers now months after the information was requested again let's read this bit here the information we require we haven't received now you're trying to be a big dog well you'll be hearing from my lawyers why didn't they hear from your lawyers yeah at the time yeah why didn't they hear from your lawyers with the information they require that they haven't received that's what I mean, the whole thing, man. I don't even... Uh, 200, I mean, for me, yeah. These sort of situations. If you've got a waffle for 270 pages, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. From my point of view, if you need to waffle for 270 pages, if that's what your excuse is, oh, but uh, uh, you don't have an excuse. There's a reason, yeah, I've been saying for a while. What you notice about this Connor Trent situation, there's no narrative out there, is there? What's the narrative that Connor Trent's innocent? There's none. There, there isn't even... They haven't even spun up something like, oh, he was eating his Mrs. Cooter. That's what that's the one I'd have gone with. I'd have said, listen, my missus, she had the whatever it was, and I've been eating the Cooter, 100%. I'm a, I'm a fiend, listen, I'm a young man, yeah, and I'm a fiend for the coo Cooter, 100%. I'm a bow cat, yeah? That's what he could have come out and said, but notice, what listen, what I mean by narrative is, with Canelo, it was the moody, what was it, beef or something? I don't know, someone's beef flaps. I'm not sure what it was. Canelo said he'd been eating some moody beef. That was the whole spin. What is Conor Ben's spin? We don't know. Because there ain't one. Which is quite shocking in itself, really, isn't it? They don't even have a narrative. That's how down bad they are. That's how guts for gutters they are. And I think the problem is, you see, I think you can spin the narrative once. The problem was, he kept popping all over the place, didn't he? I think that's what happened. He realised he'd been got. And instead of coming up with a narrative, they've tried to waffle their way, in it? Waffle their way. Oh, I've got to, I can't tell you what my excuse is, but i got 270 page report. And no one's trying to hear that. No one's trying to hear that. And now, the information. Now I don't even like the BBBOC or UCAD. I don't even like them. Why? Well, until it got leaked in the newspaper. They were happy to go along to get along. I don't even like them, man. But still. They've required information from you. Yeah? The information we require, we haven't received. I don't believe. I don't believe the BBBOC would say they've requested information if they haven't. What's their upside? It doesn't make no sense, does it? Yeah? Many people, myself included to some extent, believe that they're all involved in some sort of cover-up. So... If they're all involved in some sort of cover-up, why would they come out publicly and say, we haven't received information we've requested? They wouldn't, would they? They'd just keep quiet and let it all brush over. So the fact they've come out and actually aired this out just shows you how down bad Conor Ben really is. Because the institutions on his side that were trying to help him cover it up, even they can't even back him. That's how guilty he is, in my opinion. He can't even satisfy their low bar of demands. 
which tells me he ain't got nothing on his side. 270 pages of waffle. That's what that tells me. Because clearly, the UCAD and whoever else, or BBOC, they've requested... And I've been saying this for a while. In fact, I was the first one to say. Why hasn't Conor Ben come out with snippets of concise information that gives him credibility to be innocent? Never mind a 270-page report. They could have put out hit pieces, hit bits of information. You know the public ain't down with a 270-page report. What the public will be down with is bits like Moody Beef. Oops, Moody Beef. Yeah? He was eating Moody Beef. Canelo's Moody Beef Laps. Yeah? Or, I was eating my Mrs. Cooter. Yeah, these are the kind of lyrics you can come with that stick in the public's mind. If it don't fit, you must acquit. You understand? You can't be doing too much. Oh, 280 pages. No good. Yeah? But there ain't one. I can't mean... Listen, I ain't gonna lie to you. I completely forgot what I was talking about. But either way, listen. And that was it. That was what I was, I was saying. Back way back when, I was saying to people, the first one to say, Team Ben, at the time they were saying, oh, but my... Vada test was clean, or no, my one of the tests were clean, yeah. Why didn't Connor Ben come out with a timeline? My failed test was here, but look, a week before and a week after, or whenever it was, I had clean tests. That's all they had to do. I could get behind that, seriously. If Connor Ben had a failed a Vada test, yeah, on let's just say September 1st, he failed. If he has a clean Vada test, or a clean Yuka test, sorry, on September 14th. And on August 14th, so two weeks before and two weeks after. I can back that. Simple piece of information. They never come with none of that, did they? There was never a, yeah, this failed test is wrong. Because look, before and after, I passed tests. There was nothing like that. No evidence. No, no evidentiary value. It was all smoke and mirrors, 270 pages. I've got a moody motor to sell you, wasn't it? That's how I feel. It's a 270 page moody motor. That's what it is. No substance to it. And they know that. Everyone knows that. Yeah? Even the institutions trying to back you up, they know that too. Even they can't hold you down. That's how guilty you are. Oh, but, and that's, I mean, this bit here, look. Don't worry, Robert Smith. My lawyers. Come on now. This guy is so gassed as well. And that's the sad thing about it. Connor Ben's actually cocky because he can't be touched. It's, a, I'm, uh, it's shocking that that's the case, but it's the truth. He can't be touched. He dropped his license, and apparently that means you're off the hook. So I can't even blame him. Imagine imagine being guilty as sin, yeah? Imagine not sending any information that's required. And I believe, probably, the information was something like that. Clearly, UCAD have required specific information that can help them out, or potentially clear Conor Ben. Because again, we know that categorically the BBBOC, they were looking to license this fight until it came out in the newspaper. So you best believe, yeah, if they could find something, if Conor Ben could give them some information to validate their decision, i.e., look, people, yes, we were going to put the fight on, but look, Conor Ben showed us this and this clears him, and our decision to let the fight continue wasn't so bad. That's what they want. They want to vindicate themselves. See, we told you it was fine to go ahead. They ain't get nothing. Do you understand? So even the bare bones, basic stuff to clear Conor Ben, he can't give them. He's got nothing. And that's what happens when you have 200... I mean, the minute I heard 200 page, I, I knew it was a rap for him. I knew he was waffling, 100%. If it takes you 270 pages to explain why you're innocent, <laughs> you're guilty. Yeah, it's like the, I don't know, it's like, um, it's like in the police station, or it's like in crime or law or whatever, criminal law, when a defence team has to go way too crazy with it, trying to explain how their client's innocent. Nine times out of ten, if you're genuinely innocent, it'll be obvious, do you know what I'm saying? If you've got to do all these things and do a whole bunch of next stuff, it's usually... Because you don't have a built-in alibi that naturally follows. You try and do some scientific BS and playing with it. Anyway, let me know your thoughts.
Connor Trenner. I'm actually fascinated to see. I mean, uh, Errol Spence called him out. Errol Spence said, how is this dude about to jump in the ring when it's failed twice? And it's a fair thing to say, to be honest. I mean, I don't think Errol Spence is fretting about Connor Trent, but it's true. Yeah, nothing popped up in my test. Wait a minute. If nothing popped up in my test, why have I got to fight a juicy looking ass? Roy dead. You know what I mean? What have I got to do that for? Let, let him, let, let, you know what I mean? Let him fight someone else. Since he's just popping up and popping here and popping there and whatever else. And I, I do have to say that, I mean, regardless of the scientific evidence here, yeah, uh, thinking about it now, do you man remember when Connor Tren was going life and death with pain out? Pain out. Yeah, Connor Ben was in there. He looked really weedy, yeah. He looked really weedy and he was going life and death with some next French Donny. Cedric Paynaud punched his head in, dropped him all around the ring and he literally, honestly, it probably could have been a fight of the year to be honest with you. That was the kind of squabble it was. It was a fight of the year contender. Back and forth, 50-50. I think he went down about two times each. Yeah, proper war. Anyway, so this weedy looking ass dude going life and death with Paynaud. All of a sudden, he and their smoking dudes and looking buff, isn't it? I've got to be honest with you, people. I'm not someone who's... If it's, Listen, if the evidence isn't there, I'll tell you that. But Conor Ben went from weedy, no chops, no power, to a whole bunch of chops, a whole bunch of power, and looking buff and bulbous. He looked full. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Now, some people say, well, Conor Ben's narrative was, oh, I found my man's strength. Yeah, I bet you have. <laughs> I bet you found someone else as well. About man strength. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe, and lack off the bell 100%.